In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can extract and visualize COVID-19 Twitter data sentiments using RTweet and Shizad packages in R. So here we'll be using R Studio, and before we start with any work, make sure you install packages. Um, get your Twitter account. Um, for the free account, you can get uh, you can extract live tweets for the past seven days, and you have the option to get a premium account. Um, which allows for greater access. For example, you can um, extract live tweets from up to 30 days. So next, you want to load all the libraries. So our tweet is to extract and convert Twitter data and HTTP UV is to authenticate Twitter API access. And so from the our tweet package, um, the search tweets command will allow you to extract the tweets. And um, here I put COVID-19 because this is what I'm interested in, um, um, in double quotes. And so you can basically search up to 500 characters and any space will be considered end. And you can use the um, OR operator here as well, which basically signals um, that you want any tweet that can contain any of the characters. So n uh, number of tweets uh, set it to eighteen thousand, which is the maximum that you can extract, and then um, um, in this basically is asking if you want to include any retweets, and then here I set the language to English. Okay, so next is um, okay. I'm going to show you how it looks like after you um, extract. Okay, so this is what you're going to get. Basically, for each tweet, you're going to be getting 90 columns representing 90 variables uh, from user ID, when it, the tweet happens, um, screen name, text, source, number of characters, and so on. So that's how it looks like. And for the Twitter sentiments, I'll be using the Shazet library. And this, li this library basically has four sentiment libraries, and the one that I'm going to be using is the get nrc uh, sentiment command, which uh, is based on nrc emotion lexicon, which is a list of words and their associations with 10 different sentiments, namely anger, fear, anticipation, trust, surprise, sadness, joy, disgust, negative, and positive. So, so once you run this, basically what it does is it will um, assign a score to um, a word that represents a certain sentiment. So uh, let's take a look. So basically, like if you look at the first tweet, um, it assigns one to anticipation because that's the word that associates itself to that particular sentiment and so on. And there's one for joy, two for positive, so so that's how it works. Um, so, um, and that uh, basically uh, happens in the text column. So, um, so after that, what I would like to do is to basically sum up all the scores for each sentiment. So that's the command right here. And uh, make that into a data frame and um, combine that with the sentiment column. So, um, so I'm going to show you with a an example of data collected over three days, so from March 29 to 31st. And so, so I'll bind the data and. Uh, okay, so basically, this is what I get, um, the sentiment, the 10 of them, and then um, the sum of all the scores um, in each column. Okay, so to, uh, to be able to plot this data, I would like to make it change the format of the table. So basically, I would want to have all the dates in one column. 
and all the scores in one column. So basically I'll have, I want three columns, column table. So to do that, um, I'm using tidyr and, and using the gather um, uh, command, I'll be able to gather those and make uh, make a three column table. So, so that's that. And so I'm going to be showing you now uh, for all the data that I've collected from March 29th to April 11th. And so let me do that real quick. Okay. So, so now what we have is basically all the sentiment total scores for all 14 days. And then after tidying it, I get um, all this 140 um, sentiments summarized here. And so um, from here, um, I would like to plot, visualize this um, data. And so the first plot I'll be I'll be plotting is just a general plot using ggplot. Um, so you you want to load this up because I've already loaded up, so I'm not going to run it. So I'm going to run this command that will show me the basic plot. And let me just enlarge this. Okay. All right. So this is it. Um, it's basically a simple plot over 14 days. Uh, it looks pretty confusing to be honest, but um, so I'm gonna be uh, resorting to another plot, adding a facet uh, so I can see the trend for each sentiment over the two week period. Uh, over the two-week period, yeah. So, so this you can see much more clearly. So, another um, visual that I like is the heat map. And for this, I can go straight to the ggplot command, but let me show you what's going to happen. If I do that right away, the access is um, doesn't look that right because it's sorting out alphabetically. So, um, so what you have to do here is to go back and factory level all the dates. Um, and that command is from the forecast library. So once you do that, once you do that and you run the ggplot, you see that it starts from March 29th. So that's good, and you can also use the geom tile, which basically gives you pretty much similar um, heat map. Another plot that I like is the balloon plot from GGPUBR library, and I'll show you how it looks like. Really, really cool, um, and I really like how the shade of the bubbles. Um, showing the um, the trend in scores over the over the two week period. So, and the size of the uh, balloon basically represent how high the score is. So, I mean, you can literally see very clearly um, which which one has the highest score and which one has the lowest score. So, it's um, so nice part. So I hope this is helpful and um, and I uh, hope you like this video and I'll see you next time.